At ProShot, we like shooting form and mechanics. We also like shot mechanics, which is the YouTube channel with our good friend, Colin Castellan. Recently, we were talking about one motion, two motion, and the shot set point with Colin. Here's what we agreed on. In basketball, there are one motion and two motion shooters. Now let's break down each type of shooter. With one motion, there is no pausing. When catching off the pass, you catch, you dip, you shoot. And when going off the dribble, you dribble, you pick it up, and you shoot. Stephen Curry is generally a one motion shooter. So is James Harden. Their shots are smooth and effortless. Guards have a tendency to be more one motion shooter than wings and bigs. Women and girl players are generally one motion shooters as well. We believe one motion shooters usually have better arc on their shots and the shot is generally more effortless and smoother. Please understand that the dipping motion is not a motion. When we speak of one motion, we are talking about the motion after the dip. One motion shooters generally don't have to jump very high. The jump is usually a quick one, but not a high one. If you watch Steph or James Harden, they both have quick shots, but only jump a few inches off the ground. Two motion shooters pause on their shot. The pause is called a set point. So why do some players have two motion shots and are effective shooters? The key revolves around their jump. Two motion shooters jump high. Confused? Think of it this way. The higher you jump, the more you have to pause on your shot. With two motion shooters, they release at the top of their jump. So they have to put their shot in a set point. Let's focus on some two motion shooters. Ray Allen was a two motion shooter. Look at how high he jumps. He puts the jump in jump shot. Kobe, of course, is a two motion shooter, as was Michael Jordan. So is LeBron and Carmelo Anthony. The key to being a two motion shooter is the higher you jump, the more you pause. Can you jump too high? Of course. Look at Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook. They jump so high that it actually affects their shot negatively. Do one motion shooters ever shoot in a two motion shot? Yes. If you have to jump higher, you start becoming more of a two motion shooter. Then there are also players that are on the borderline of one and two motion. They have smooth shots and they don't pause very long. Sometimes they barely pause at all. These players include JJ Redick, Damian Lillard, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Wes Matthews, and Kyrie Irving. We believe it is important to have a smooth shot from the dip to the release. This is the area that most players struggle with. These players here are fluid shooters that make their shot look effortless. A hit shot is when you bring the ball behind your head. Some players have moderate hit shots and are still effective. Larry Bird had a hitch. He's still gonna drop one here quickly, 14. This is a tie for the money. So does Dirk Nowitzki. The key here is that you have to extend on your release. When you hitch back, generally the shot loses arc. The shot becomes flat and you miss short. Very few guards have a hit shot that are able to be accurate three-point shooters. One such hit shooter was Michael Red. Red was one of the best NBA shooters in the past 20 years. Derek Fisher also had a hit shot. 
Fish was known for hitting clutch shots with the Lakers, but was not a great percentage shooter. Having a hitch and trying to be a long range shooter usually doesn't mix. Carlos Boozer struggles to shoot past 15 feet. He's got a big hitch. Once again, if you're going to hitch, you must extend high on your release to get better arc. We don't talk that much about set points. Obviously, if you're a one motion shooter, you don't have a set point. We believe the set point isn't the key to shooting. It's the dip, it's the turn, swaying the shoulders, it's about where you release the shot, in other words, your extension. So if you're a two motion shooter, don't focus on the set point, but what you do after the set point. Make sure that your release is a few inches above the rim on every shot. All right, let's recap. The higher you jump, the more you pause. The more you pause, the harder it becomes to shoot, and generally the less arc you get on your shot. At Pro Shot, we really like one motion shooters because the shot is smoother, has better arc, and it might even be a little bit quicker. We get the same question all the time. How do you become a one motion shooter? The key starts with the jump. Limited but quick jump and don't pause the shot at any point. It needs to be smooth and effortless. Make sure you dip when shooting off the pass. Also, don't believe the idea that a player needs to bring the ball behind his head to get a shot off. This is a shooting myth that hurts players. If this was the case, then Stephen Curry would get a shot blocked every single time. And of course, this doesn't happen. Remember, always have a smooth and effortless shot. In the long run, you're going to see some positive results.